Okay, looks like we are on. All right. Take some time, familia, to get the internet going in the jungle. Here we are. Let me know when you jump in. Let me know when, where are you tuning in from? Which country are you connecting right now in the vortex? Remembering every time we go live, we are connecting the world. We are creating a web of high vibration, a web of light, a web of love, a web of unity, remembering we are one. Yeah, see you guys come in, there you go. Sharon, Neil, Siplaki, Rawan, Raju, beautiful people coming through. Love to hear from you guys all the time. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know you're here. Vivi, what's up? So good to share with you. I have so much to share with you guys. So much that I've been feeling important to share. And, you know, it's really like a moment of remembering. I remind myself a lot of things, you know, when I go Facebook Live, just so you know. First of all, I do the, the, the Facebook Lives for me. <laughs> just to remember, man. Just to remember, you know. Go back to roots, go back to who I really am and not get lost in the illusion of, of, of the current reality, what's going on in the world, like all the craziness, guys, that send some love to the United States right now. Oh my God, what's going on there? Whatever politics, it goes, it goes beyond politics, you know, this human behavior of whatever violence and whatever opposition and separation at the end, it's, that's what it is, right? So. Always when I see those things, what I feel, it's like, this is false. This is not going to last. We are unity. We are. I am. And that's it. That's the truth. You know, that's, that's what I connect with. Because if I play on the drama, and, oh my God, did you see that? Oh my God, it's the Trump. Oh no, it's the that. Oh no, it's the that. It's just playing. It's just feeding the drama, you know. So all I do when I see those things, and I, you know, that's, that's, that's an advice I give you. Instead of playing the game and like, oh. <gasps> You know, it's like, whoa, okay, that's going on. Connect with the truth. What is the divine truth of this situation going on right now? What's, what's, what's the truth? The rest is just, uh, just momentary. You know, it comes and goes, but what's really going on? So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been in my field a lot. The last, the last 24 hours, very, very, very connected. Sending love and, and helping just these people like remember, remember who they are. Like, what are we doing, guys? What are we doing? It's time to take it higher. Like, it's the best time to be alive right now. What are we fighting for? What are we separating for? Why are we like still there in that place of competition and comparison and envy and all those low vibrations that are just bringing us down? Even if you win the battle, you win the battle, but you lose it because you're lowering your vibration because you're getting lost in those low vibration emotions. And that's what I want to talk about today. It's like, how do I release more to manifest more? How can I manifest more if I'm not able to release, if I'm so controlling in my life? If I think I have everything covered, if I think I know everything, if I think I got control over everything, what am I going to manifest more? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the same results as, as I've had before because I'm doing the same thing, right? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but you know it sounds very like rational and obvious but it's not that obvious we we do act like that a lot of the time so i want to share with you a method that many of you are are familiar with but we're going to have a different approach and uh, hopefully give you some insights and just you know just uh, even if you've heard it before maybe it'll give you like another perspective of it or it'll help you it's all about helping each other and feel free to comment below feel free to share this I really appreciate when you share this Facebook Lives. Remember that by you sharing it, even if people don't like it in the moment or you, you think nobody follows it, Facebook listens to the algorithm of this is, this is being shared. Let's share it with more people. So at least the people of the tribe that would love to know that I'm going live or that we're creating a vortex, they would, they're going to go like, whoa, okay, let's go together. Because, you know, when we go live, it goes beyond me. 
it's the vortex we create together. And people already know this. So every time they hear like, okay, Juan Pas Live is like, okay, there's a vortex going on here. Let's do this. All right. So if you can share this, I'll really appreciate. I think people that don't know that this is going on right now will really appreciate it. And it's a great way to, to you know, open up to, to create a new humanity together in whatever way we can, guys. First, with our intention, right? Like, how many times do we connect with an intention of, like, the highest of the highest? How do I see humanity? Do I get lost in how I see humanity right now? Or am I vibrating with the highest potential of humanity? Because every time you say yes to what's happening right now in humanity in any way, you're feeding that, right? So instead of feeding that, it's like, oh, that's going on in the world right now, whatever it is, as I said before. Mm, but how do I see it? How do I see those people? How do I see humanity right now? What's going on at that energetic level? When you tune into an energetic level of what's going on into the planet right now, you'll see that we're vibrating very high. And there's a lot of beings right now that are super tapped into this vibration. And these beings that there's many right now, and of course you're part of it, if you, if you, if you choose to because it's a choice, if you're vibrating there, when you see drama happening in the world, you don't get caught up that much. You're like, oh, interesting. Look at that. I wonder what's going on with that. No judgment. I don't know what's right or what's wrong. There's no, there's no judgment of who's the guilty one and who, you know, you don't play that game. It's not like this is better than the other. It's all the same, guys. If Trump wins or the other wins or the other, it's all the same. They're all the puppets. It's all the same thing. Like, why do you even have to? I mean, you have to vote if you're in the States. But really, it's all the same game. That game that we've been playing in society, it's, it's crumbling down. The economic system, the political system, the educational system, the medical system, it's all crumbling down because it doesn't work. And we know this. It's all just puppets. Behind, they have the people ruling the planet that have been ruling it for ages, right? It's the same thing. We all know this. And I never focus on this because what I want to give you guys is the positive, what you can connect with right now, what you can choose right now because you're a sovereign being. All the power is within you. It's not outside of you. And it's within you right now. You don't even need to do anything else more than say yes to it, do the alchemy for it, for you to connect and start aligning to that more and more. And then all of a sudden, you're just living your dream. You're living your fantasy. You're living your intention. All of a sudden, your future was materialized in the now faster than you thought. Right? Why? Because you aligned to the quantum field of infinite possibilities. You aligned beyond the laws of matter of the 3D that are very dense, that are completely uh, 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 based on the law of thermodynamics, right? It's like, oh, everything is going to decompose. Matter is going to decompose. Matter is going to age. Matter is going to be heavier and heavier and heavier. Instead of playing those games, we open up to the laws of the infinite expansion, to the laws of the quantum field, to the universal laws of life, which is full evolution. Full evolution until, yes, it has to change to something different, but it never dies. It just changes faces. That's all it happens. But it's, it doesn't lower the vibration. The vibration is always high. And it's actually higher and higher and higher, right? It's always a higher frequency no matter what. Even if you see it dark, even if you're going through something hard right now in your life, even if it's challenging, don't play the game. That is just a moment, guys. That is just a moment. That's not who you are. You know how many times you've said, oh my God, I've never seen it this bad. Oh my God, I'm feeling so horrible. Everything looks the worst right now in my life. And next day, you're all of a sudden feeling amazing for no reason. You just woke up like that. All of a sudden, it shifts and you're like, whoa. You even forget that you were having the worst time ever some hours ago, right? Let me know. Do you have that too? Do you see the cosmic joke of this? Like, when hasn't it been, like, the worst time ever forever? Never, right? You think that is in the moment, but sometimes you come out of it like that, and all of a sudden, you're having a good time. All of a sudden, you're seeing more positivity. You're seeing it from a different perspective. Even if the situation hasn't changed, what changes is your perspective. You're looking at it from a different point of view. You kind of let go of that, and you open up to this. 
and you open up to see the whole panorama, see from the observer's point of view, okay? So let me know if you guys are fully in. Let me know if you guys are ready to go. That was just the introduction. Let's rock this together. Thank you all for being here. Let's do some breath together, hey? You guys wanna do some breath work together? Just to get it, get it going. If you've never done breath work in the vortex here together, get ready, because it goes very deep. It's very simple, don't worry, don't be scared of breath work. We call it breath flow because it's not really about work. If you're feeling the work, you're pushing it too much and it's not about pushing it, it's about finding your own flow. So what's the requisite to do this? Can you breathe? <laughs> can you breathe? Okay, you can do it. That's all you need. You need to be ready to breathe, okay? And I'm not gonna go complicated. There's so many ways to go and you can open up your pineal gland and you can open up your intuition and start opening up your vision and so many ways we could go, right? When you've done quantum flow, you understand what I'm talking about, right? You empower yourself and open to your vision 100,000%. But not right now, especially in a, such an open container, where we have people that have never even maybe done breath work before, have, some of you maybe haven't even meditated. I, I don't know where you guys are at. Maybe you're just tuning in with me for the first time. So I gotta be careful. And when we hold the breath, remember, um, take it easy. But if, if you've never done this kind of breath, um, you don't want to push it too much. Like you can lose it. You can be, be dizzy. It can be. It can get can get really uncomfortable. It can. You can even faint. Right. If you push it too much, it's like not breathing. You know. It's it's not good. It's not good for you. So you gotta build it up. We have some people here that have been doing this work for two, three, five years, whatever, twenty years. We have everything here. Right. So. Um, don't compare yourself never to anyone, right? Even if they tell you like, oh my God, this was the most blissful of my life. And you were like, whoa, I don't know even what happened. I don't know if you call that blissful. It was kind of uncomfortable actually, but something changed, something popped in here. <laughs> That's what it's all about, guys. How to, to use the body as a vehicle of manifestation. So I'm seeing a lot of readies there. Let's go, let's do this together. Okay, get um, in a comfortable position, please. Comfortable sitting position. Don't worry, you don't have to be an experienced meditator, an experienced um, spiritual activator in any way. Just, just take it easy, okay? So the first thing, deep breath all the way into your belly. And then when you exhale, come forward like this. And relax, relax until you relax the neck, let your head hang. Inhale vertebrae by vertebrae, very gentle. Let the inhalation go all the way down into your belly. Open all the way up, let the shoulders open back, let the chest open, and then exhale. Inhale. Just releasing. So you'll see what I mean, release more to manifest more. I'm gonna talk about this later, but I wanna get you guys in the state so you can receive me more. That's why I'm doing breath work with you guys, okay? It's, this is not a breath work session. I'm gonna do a workshop on this theme, but I want you guys to get on a flow state. So please breathe whenever you're ready, inhaling. And then exhaling through the mouth, you come forward so you liberate the tensions in your spine. And then you inhale, you go back. Last thing that comes up is the head. Last thing that goes down is the head. Very gentle. The sound is important when you exhale. Oh. The sound is important because you're activating your vagus nerve. Yeah, that's your parasympathetic nervous system. That is the part of the nervous system that is calming you down, that is helping you feel safe, that is letting you be open and receive the information for a different place. It's helping you come out of survival mode. Keep breathing. I'm talking, but keep breathing. It's helping you come out of survival mode into thrive mode because you you connect with that energy, that power that's from within, that's not related to your fears, to your doubts, to your um, frustrations, to your anger, to any low vibration emotion. Keep breathing, guys. Trust me, keep breathing. Deep breath when you inhale, and when you exhale, relax. Relax the neck, uh, relax the jaw, uh, right? You can bring your tongue out when you exhale. 
Ah. Please do the sound with me, okay? It's okay to do the sound. Many of us are not used to express ourselves. This opens up your throat, opens up all the thyroid gland, which needs to be activated, activates your thymus gland, helps the nervous system find a balance, and it feels amazing. Come on, don't, let me know if it doesn't feel amazing when you're just moving and letting the sound come out. It's like a sound of relief. Ah. <sighs> faster I release control I release of any low vibration I release of anything that's holding me back right now any tension any stress anything that is not aligned to my highest potential I let it go let's do seven more Four more, a little slower, two more, one more, inhale as deep as you can, hold it, exhale gently, just relax, no inhalation, trust me, just relax, relax, let yourself relax, be there in the emptiness, no inhalation, just let your whole nervous system recalibrate itself. When you've had enough, take a deep inhalation, hold it, hold it, let your, your eyes shine, let your skin shine, let that oxygen vibrate energetically in every cell of your being and then exhale and stay there no inhalation stay there floating stay there in the nothingness don't inhale yet connect with gratitude 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 inhale as deep as you can whenever you're ready hold it now zip it in through your mouth like this now stretch your arms, stretch, open space, open space, relax your neck, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, open space in your body, exhale with the sound and receive <sighs> golden shower of light coming to your crown, thank you, thank you, thank you, inner smile, just enjoy the bliss of the movement that naturally happens in your body, bring the hands to the heart, Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much gratitude right now. Connect with your intention, whatever intention you have for this year, whatever intention you have of manifestation. Connect with that. See it, visualize it, or just know that it's happening already. How good does it feel that your intention is happening right now? Are you manifesting an amazing relationship? Are you manifesting more money? Are you manifesting health? What are you manifesting? How does it feel for you if I would tell you, you've already done it, it's already done. How does that feel? Just connect with the gratitude of manifestation right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. Uh, that inner smile happens naturally. If it doesn't happen naturally, don't worry. It's okay. Stay with that vibration. Stay in that flow state, knowing that you are a powerful manifester. You are here to manifest. That is who you are. That is your birthright. Your birthright is abundance in every area of your life. And so it is. I am abundance. I am abundance. Abundance is my birthright. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Very gently coming back. Take your time. Very gently coming back. Yay, all right. Now we're ready for the workshop, hey? How are you guys feeling? <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Yes, you can come in. How are you guys feeling? 
let me know. I want to hear how you guys are doing right now. Let me just open the door. How are you guys doing? Let me know you guys are grounded. Let me know you guys are feeling good. Thank you so much. Feeling recharged, euphoric. Oh, well, it's grounded down, grounded down into your belly, Br deep breath into your belly. Much more grounded and centered. Amazing, I love your smile too, by the way. Oh, thank you, Laurie. Feeling amazing. I'm sure I'm reflecting you, your smile, because if you love it, it's because we're reflecting it for each other. That's how it works, right? Grounded. Love you. I love you too. Great. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. You guys are good. All right. But some panic coming up when holding on the exhale. Yes, that's good. That's good. Um, Christy, and not that some panic comes up is good, but it's just that's what it does. It clears your nervous system. So that panic is it comes from your past some kind of trauma that's there that we all have micro trauma or bigger trauma. It doesn't matter. All you're doing is you're bringing it out in order to receive more, in order for you to manifest and really manifest from a place of ease, grace and flow, because that's what's really it's about. It's not about more pushing and hustling and, and, and struggling, right? That's, that's old stories. And that's what quantum flow is all about, how to manifest with ease, grace and flow. So in order to get to that state, you gotta release. And part of that release, it, you gotta feel it at some point. So that panic comes through, don't push it too much, but very gently, you're going to go into it, okay? Lots of emotions coming up, crying through the tears and gratitude. Oh, sending you love, Rebecca. That's good. It comes up. Remember, you are just healing. You are opening up. That's what it's all about. Don't worry if people are like, I'm feeling best ever. Like, know that those people have also come through that. And it's people that you see commenting here, they've done a lot of time quantum flow. So their body is much clearer. Right. Sometimes when you haven't done this work at the beginning, it, it clears, it, 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 it's kind of heavy, but then it's, it just gets pure bliss, pure gratitude. It's like, you know, <laughs> it gets much better. So it's actually good to, to detox that. And it's actually what this uh, workshop is about. And we're just doing a little bit deactivation first. And now we're going to talk about what's going on really and why this is so important. Let me just check in with everyone. Feeling calm and blessed. That's good. Thank you. Stream died for me. Glad you're feeling better. Lots of coughing, throat clearing. That's good, Lisa. That's good. Yes. All right. It's back. That's good, feeling good. Okay, okay, guys. Looks like we're grounding. And you know how many times we have stuff going on, stuff that's uncomfortable, like I did something wrong. Oh, I don't like this. I want to run away. There's this like instinct of running away from what's uncomfortable. Instinct of running away from something that's different, from something that's uncertain, from the unknown. It's, it's, it's been programmed in society. You know, if you don't know it, if you don't have the control, Bzz, 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 the alerts comes up and it's like, oh my God, let me feel safe. Let me close the doors. Let me, and that's what closes the manifestation. But what's weird is like, in order to manifest, you gotta open up to the unknown. You gotta open up to the uncertainty. You gotta open up to places where you don't know. And from those places where you don't know and you'd accept you don't know and you're open to infinite possibilities, that's when you hear the calling to like, oh, let me call this person. Oh, let me check um, uh, with that project I had going on before. What's going on with that? Oh, let me talk to my partner about this. Oh, let me just be silent right now. Oh, I need to go out to nature. Oh, I need to dance right now. Oh, you start listening, but it's because you're available. You're coming out of the program of acting, feeling, and doing everything always in the same way. It takes some time and you kind of feel uncomfortable and you're going to feel uncomfortable in your body, but it's the only way to wake up your inner genius. Who doesn't want to wake that inner genius up here? Huh? Come on, comment below with inner genius if you're feeling 
the commitment to wake up that authenticity, that creativity, those inner gifts that are inside of you, right? Inner genius, we all carry that inner genius. Are we letting that inner genius come out? Are we giving space for that inner genius to come out, right? It's so important to give space for that because it's not going to come out alone. We've got to open space. We've got to learn how to release, right? So you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, lots of inner geniuses here for sure. I see you guys. Yes. Yes, yes, wake her up. Yes, she's waking up. I'm telling you, he's waking up. It's happening. <laughs> oh, guys, this is so good. This is so good. Anyway, I want to share with you just a little thing before I go into the full on release. But um, I'm just really grateful, guys, of the community that we have. And I just did a live stream the other day on the, on, the, on the Quantum Flow group, Quantum Flow certification. We've been doing like a, a very deep inner mastery training with a lot of beautiful people that many of you are there. And I was just sharing from my heart, you know, this is what manifest, mest, manifesting from the quantum field is. I'm going to show you with a story and then you'll see, um, and then, then I'm going to show you the method. How's that? So the story is, um, you know, it's a beautiful tribe that I feel so close. We've been working together for a while. We go super deep. Everybody opens up. Everybody's like fully committed to be, live the best life ever. We share the wins. We support each other. It's a beautiful, beautiful brotherhood, sisterhood, like amazing, right? So I share with them as my brothers and sisters. I'm not like the teacher, the guru, you know, I don't like, I've never liked uh, being that. At some point in my life, I kind of let myself let people put me there like 10 years ago. And then it just, I just kind of was burned down after that. It, it was horrible. It was like, it fed my spiritual ego a lot. So every time I, I, I have groups like this, I always get in a place of like, you're my brothers and my sisters, right? And we're sharing. And yes, I got some stuff to share because I've been on the path for so many years and I've got, I want to share all these tools with you guys. But I open from my heart. I have nothing to hide. I have not like a mask. I'm this or that. And I was telling them like, what I was going through and how like it was a good thing because, you know, the businesses are exploding. Quantum flow is exploding. Everybody wants to do quantum flow. Everybody asks for it. All the teachers want to do the courses again and, and again and they want level two and they want level three. And, you know, it's, it's a good thing, you know, but it's been overwhelming like for me and for the, for, the, for the team. It's been like, oh, my God, the team has grown like 4X in the last I don't know, in the last, what, maybe five months or something? It's crazy, right? And, and it keeps going, it keeps going. <laughs> and I was telling them, like, sharing from my heart, guys, and, and like from a very vulnerable space. And, and I was telling them, guys, and, 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 and this is where we're going, and this is what's going on. And at the same time, um, from me being vulnerable, raw and real, and opening up and trusting the process, uh, listen to that. For me being raw and real and being grounded in my current reality, instead of putting a mask, the mask of a teacher, the mask of the leader, the mask of I know it all, I was like, guys, and we're going through this and I have to be breathing a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on and, you know, it's like one after the other. And and I just told them about that and I was like calling more people into the team almost to like support the mission, right? And Right after I finished the live stream, which without even me like naming it much, like 40 people reached out. 40 geniuses, each one in their own thing. It's like, Juanpa, I can help in this. Juanpa, I can do that. Juanpa, I'm here to support in this. Juanpa, I was like overwhelmed almost to like, whoa, it's, this is crazy how it works energetically. First of all, when you are raw and real, and you share from your heart where you're at, no drama, no victim, because it's not from a victim mode, but you're being real. You don't have to put, let me put the mask of the teacher. Now is the mask of the husband. Now is the mask of the father. Now is the mask of uh, the farmer. Now is the mask of, like I could have so many masks because I relate to so many people. Multi-billionaires that are my clients, some of them or whatever, to the people I work on the land that they're my brothers and my sisters and we're like, Cut with machete together and dig deep holes together and plant 
corn together, you know? Like, for me, it's the same. There's no difference, right? But I've learned not to have those masks. I'm this, and now I'm that, and I'm that. Oh, now I'm the yoga teacher. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the yoga class. This is Yoga Juanpa. I'm very spiritual, and I speak like this. Please take a deep breath. And now, oh, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys, but I just see, I used to be those, so many characters, you know, in one person, and then like, what? This is me. So I opened myself, no characters, and they all came back to me like, wow, Wampa, like, yes, we're here for you. Hey, we want to help you with this. Hey, we want to help you with that. They were so supportive, and I'm like, what a lesson. What a lesson. Step number one to manifestation, guys, you got to be raw and real. Step number one, please write this down. You gotta be raw and real. You gotta be grounded wherever you're at. Because we're so used to like, oh, everything's okay. In Costa Rica, we say, everything's pura vida, you know? You gotta be raw and real. Where are you right now? It's not just pura vida. Like, yeah, life is good. I'm positive. Positive thinking sometimes kills you. Because you're like, I just gotta think positive. I just gotta talk positive. It's just positivity. The rest doesn't exist. That's going to take you a little bit, you know, but you're kind of putting everything under the pillow and it's going to come up like a surprise. Boom. <laughs> and then you're like, what? Where is all this coming from? Right? So you need to be raw and real with your partner, with your children. You know how many times I sat with Danny, with my son, who is actually doing the certification right now. I'm so proud of him. He's like, he wanted because he wanted. I didn't force him. And he's, in the, he's already a coach and he's already a healer, but he's doing the quantum flow training, right? So into it. And he was like, the way I've helped him as a father hasn't been like, I'm the father, I'm the authority. It's like, Danny, this is what I'm feeling right now. Sometimes even when I feel like I don't know how to help him, I don't know how to uh, uh, give him an advice because it's kind of complex, you know. He's he's gone through a lot of different labyrinths, you know. He's entering the teenager right now, and there's a lot of things going on. And but sometimes I'm just like, man, help me out. I I don't know how to share this with you right now. Like I'm just feeling like kind of lost. Can you help me out a little bit? And I give him the power to. I let him know where I'm at instead of just saying, I'm the father of the house. I'm the ruler. I'm the macho here. You obey me because I am paying for the food and for that, you know? <laughs> instead of playing that game, I'm just like, hey, you know, hey, brother. <laughs> hey, man. Like, what's going on? And he gets it. I take him to the next level. He naturally steps us, steps up as a man and says, oh, dad, I'm sorry. I couldn't see that. Let me, let me see myself. Let me. And he starts opening himself in a very different way than if I create a false respect by fear. But this I do because I'm raw and real. That's because I'm raw and real with him. It wouldn't happen. Okay. So step number one, guys, you want to manifest the life of your dreams. How is your life right now? For real. How are your relationships? How is your money? How is your, 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 um, your uh, deep uh, relationship? Do you have a partner or not? Do you want to have a partner? How is your purpose? Are you living your purpose? Or are you just working because of money or because you have to? How is your body? Do you feel good? When you wake up, do you feel energy when you wake up? Or do you need a coffee right away? How's your mind? Is your mind like full of rubbish and all these crazy negative thoughts? Because, okay, we need to clear that. That's not normal, guys. Like my, my mind is crystal clear, crisp, pure crystal clear, diamond. But I've done so much work on it, right? It's, I didn't was born like that. And, 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 you know, when I remember how heavy it was to feel all this craziness of thoughts going all the way and all this confusion, one day I'm thinking this, the other day I'm thinking that and feeling all this confusion in the air, it was horrible. But I had to accept that it was horrible. I had to say, you know what? It's not okay that my mind is all over the place. It's not okay that I feel completely lost. If I, if I listen to these thoughts, I, I kind of see myself crazy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but in order to shift that, in order to clear my unconscious mind, I had to be raw and real and say, something's crazy is going on here. I need to do something about it. It's not just going to happen natural. I can't just fake that nothing's happening and putting a, 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 you know, a mask. It's not going to take me that long, you know? So getting raw and real is step number one. Getting raw and real, like, why am I not feeling energy? Why do I need so much sugar to, 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 to have energy? Why am I needing four or five coffees a day to have energy? If my body is supposed to be generating energy, 
I used to be that too. I had some phases where I was full on drinking six, seven co top, cups of coffee, you know, until I found my energy again. And I now rarely I drink coffee and I use it as a medicine with superfoods, cacao and, you know, reishi mushroom and chaga mushroom and medicinal mushrooms, cordyceps, all these mushrooms that are for the brain, for the nervous system, for the, for the kidneys, for like opening up to the intuition. It's like really good medicine for the body, you know, and for the mind. For, it's brain medicine, you know, and it's not hallucinogenous. Uh, mushrooms. I'm talking about the mushrooms that help like the body really come up to the full awakening of its potential. So I take coffee for that sometimes, but I don't even need it. But I remember when I would need coffee and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be alive if I didn't have coffee. I wouldn't even want to do anything, you know? And then I'm like, I had to be real and say, oh my God, I can't deal with this anymore. I remember like long time ago when I used to smoke pot, you know, and I was like, if I didn't smoke a joint, I wouldn't be happy. I needed the medicine, but it wasn't the medicine. I was needing something in order to be happy. I had to get raw and real with myself and say, my life is not okay right now. I want to shift this. I can't be faking that this is not happening because I'm going to keep following the same things all the time. Then I fell into the addiction of sexuality and I needed to make love not only every day, but two or three times a day. And if my partner wasn't into making love and, and having sex, I would look for another partner. Like, oh my God, like for real? <laughs> and it's okay, there's nothing wrong with sex, especially if you have a partner, right? It's like, it's okay. But why am I needing that to feel fulfilled? Why am I needed someone or something to feel whole? Why can't I find that wholeness myself? Because manifestation comes from wholeness. You need to first get into that place of wholeness. Once you're in wholeness, then you're like, okay, the vibration of wholeness, you emanate it out. And of course, you're going to attract anything that's vibrating with that wholeness. But if you attract it from a place of scarcity, almost from a place of like, I need that. I need a partner right now because I feel lonely. I need money because I can't pay my bills. I need, I need, I need comes from scarcity. You don't need anything, guys. When you tune into your soul, you don't need anything. You're already complete. Believe it or not, if your mind doesn't believe it, okay, let's, um, let's align your mind to your body. That's what quantum flow is for, right? We align the mind to the body, to the heart, to the magnetic frequency of your body, to your emotions, to your core, right? to the power of your body. And then you have all the layers of your being that are aligned in what we call coherency. But if you don't do that, then you're gonna be all over the place. The thoughts are here, emotions are a roller coaster, my body doesn't have energy, I kind of need sugar to feel alive, I kind of need to be buying things in order to feel that I'm someone, I need a car, I need a this, I need a that, always depending on material stuff. And it's okay, I love material stuff, I'm not against it, but at the same time, I could live in the jungle. I actually live in the jungle, right? And I can live here in a tent, just drinking coconuts all day. Guys, I have that in me, I don't need anything, really, to, 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 to feel alive and awake, to feel happy, to feel fulfilled, you know? But it's, it's taken a lot of work to do that, a lot of internal work in order to align to that. And that's how I manifested the partner of my dreams. That's how I manifested the land of my dreams, the relationship with my, with my son of my dreams, with my parents, with, you know? And I'm not saying I'm not still working on everything. Of course, we're always upgrading. I'm, I don't claim myself to be, I'm enlightened, I have no work to do, no, but... There is work that you do and you see the results, you see the fruits, but you need to have coherency. If you don't have coherency with that inner world, you will always be living in this fake, oh, best day ever. Oh, I'm just having the best time ever right now. It's all perfect because I know if I think it's all perfect, everything is going to be perfect. But inside you feel like shit. <laughs> right? So it's like this separation between what you're putting out there the Facebook page, right? Or the, the Instagram photo of like, everything's perfect, click, click, click. But inside, I, I feel disconnected. I, I don't feel what I'm saying outside. So that's where the emptiness comes. That's where you feel a gap. That's where you feel a hole inside. You feel lonely, you feel separated, you don't feel good enough. You feel, and then from that separation, 
you get lost, you can get lost into more material things because you're almost trying to fill up a hole, but you can't fill that gap with material stuff. That gap can't be filled. You can try as much as you want. Guys, I work with millionaires, billionaires. Like, you won't fill that hole. Trust me. All the money in the world, they could buy whatever they want and they feel empty. Not all of them, but many of them. Why? Because it's not through the material world. That's why what we teach to manifest, you manifest from within. And from within you attract. And to do that, step number one is get raw and real. Where are you now? Do you feel abundant? Even if you don't have money in your bank, do you wake up and feel abundant? Do you think abundant? Do you ask, do you ask, act from a place of abundance or from a place of scarcity, from a place of need? How would abundance act? in your life right now? How would you be thinking? How, how would you be walking? How would you be breathing? <sighs> Abundantly, right? How would you be talking to people? How would you be dressing? How, how would your lies look? How would you be hugging or not hugging people or laughing? How, how would you be if you were tuning into abundance right now? Okay, so we're gonna get there. That is like step number five. <laughs> Just going fast. You know how I am. I, I love going all over the place. But once you get raw and real, you're like, okay, I got to do the work now. Now it's about releasing. Let me release whatever's holding me back. Step number two is alchemy. But releasing doesn't just mean like, oh, let me just let go of that. That's negativity. Let me put it shit away. Push it away. It's not going to go away like that. You're actually going to make it stronger. How you release it is by committing to go to the core of it, not the tip of the iceberg, but the core of it. Every pattern that you have in your life has a core. Every pattern, every thought is created because there's something inside of you that you're not dealing with, that you're not clearing. So the thought is just letting you know that there's something inside in your nervous system because your unconscious mind is in your nervous system. So if you don't clear your nervous system, there, there's, the thought is always going to pop up in your mind. And you're like, what? But I've done so much affirmations. It's still popping up. Like, why? Right? And I have people that have worked on mindset for so long. Regan was one of them, my partners. She did a lot of mindset for many years. When I met her, she was, you know, amazing goddess, like manifesting millions, like beautiful, shining light. She was amazing. And at the same time, there was the gap of embodiment. There was a gap of just working through mindset. And when she started doing quantum flow and getting into the embodiment piece, her abundance triplified, her sexual energy triplified, good for me. <laughs> her beauty opened up even more, her posts, her way on Facebook, you go watch her two years ago, three years ago even. It's so different than what she shares now. But why? Because there has been an embodiment. You align both the body, the mind, the emotions, the energy, the soul, all of the layers of your being align in coherency. And from there you manifest in fullness, in wholeness, right? But we need to do the work, the transformation, the alchemy of letting go, of releasing whatever is holding you back in any way, okay? And for that, you got to get real. Huh? How is my body? Okay, I need to, I, I feel very heavy. I commit to release that weight. I feel very toxic. Right now, it, I'm kind of like, Ugh, I know I'm kind of toxic, especially after the parties and the, the, the New Year's and all that, right? Actually, we're actually having a, uh, the typical uh, program that we do for detox to let go of. It's all about alchemy and release. That's coming like in, in uh, 21 days, a program that we do together of release in every way, physical, emotional, energetic. Um, that's a beautiful program that's coming through. We do it every almost two months. It's, it's really nice. We have a beautiful group of people. If you want to join us, just comment below detox. I, I, just, uh, I just love that process. We go through it together. I do it all the time. Why? Because if I don't detox, if I'm not constantly detoxifying and letting go of this heaviness, of this uh, whatever addiction, whatever need you have, whatever, anything that you need from the outside, if you don't cut with that and you, you don't retrain your body that your body doesn't need that, if you don't retrain your mind that you, you, you don't need to be feeding yourself with the negative thoughts, if you don't train your body that it doesn't need to be feeding itself with the negative emotions, right? Like, you're going to be doing it all the same. So you need to reset yourself. You need to let go at every layer of your being. 
And that's why you go, you get Royal Ring and say, I feel heavy. I need to do a clearing. I need to do a detox. You know, I feel my mind goes crazy. I need to do a detox of my unconscious mind. I feel my emotions are all over the place. I need to do a detox for my emotions. Like you gotta get raw and real because it's not just gonna go away. If you're just praying and asking, it's very hard for it to go away. I mean, yes, the infinite energy and God or the infinite love or however you wanna call this infinite pulsation of energy, of course, is always there, but you gotta do the work. God is supporting us, but we got to be the first. It's not just like, hey, do the miracle on me. And then I keep drinking Coca-Cola and eating hamburgers at McDonald's. You know, it's like, okay, like it just doesn't work like that. You know, <laughs> we got to commit a little bit. And sometimes it's hard because you're used to be addicted to certain kinds of food, even though, you know, it's not the best food for you, even though, you know, it gets you heavy, even though you're going to, you're going to have more pounds that you're not looking for right now. And you're not feeling good in your body and you're not, you look at yourself and you're like, I know I can be in a better moment right now. I don't like my body right now. It could be better instead of saying I'm fat. I don't like, I hate myself. I'm not talking about that, but you know, there's a better version of you. You know this. Why are you not aligning to this? It doesn't come from a place of like, I need to enter a diet. I need to do sacrifice. I don't believe in that. I believe that's not true. What you need to do is you need to reset your palate. You need to reset your digestive system. You need to reset your whole body in order for you to not be addicted to the same food, the same emotions, the same thoughts. Because if you don't get from, from it to the core, you can do how many diets you want. You, you know how many clients I have? And I've done so many diets, so many sacrifices. They come to me like, Juan, I've tried everything. And I can't do it. I'm done. I'm done. I lost 30 pounds and now I gained 50. I feel like I just let it go. I just forgot about it. I'm just numbed because I just know I can't do it. I'm like, oh, okay, let's breathe. <laughs> let's breathe, okay? Let's, let's, let's go deeper than that. And when you analyze, you just see that they've just approached in a different way. They've done it in the way that humanity has taught us. They never taught us to go to the core of it, to look at it, to look at it. What is creating the craving? Why am I craving that food? Why am I craving a relationship that is a relationship of, of violence, a relationship of drama? Why am I craving that? Why I keep attracting that in my life? Why I keep attracting clients that don't pay me, that I need to follow up, that I, why? Why? Ask yourself why? Because there's something in you that's attracting that. It all comes from within. Don't, don't blame it outside. It all comes from within. So once you take consciousness of it, and you commit to let it go, yeah, you release it, then you can connect to the third stay, stage, which is connect to your core. Go to your core. What is your core? Your gifts, your passion. Why are you here? Why are you here? You're here for a reason. We sometimes forget. We're here for a reason. We have codes. We have gifts. We have frequencies that are here to share with the world. We have a message that's here to be shared with the world. Are you sharing it? Are you owning it or are you scared to own it? Or are you running away from it? And that's when you go to the core. You wake up your core. You wake up like the energy of the muscles, right? That's, you see me working in every layer and that's what quantum flow does. Quantum flow, it's a total mindset. It's all neuroscience, neuroplasticity, uh, quantum physics, biophysics. It's all the sciences, but applied to the body, the biophysics. So in the body, everything is important. The muscles are important. The organs are important. Hmm? The blood is important. The lymph is important. The nervous system is important. Your brain is important. All your parts are sacred. But if you don't see them as sacred, if you don't see your body as sacred, you're always going to be doing the work in your mind. Doing the work in your emotions. I see all these people like, I'm clearing my emotions. I'm clearing my mind. I'm doing this. And I'm like, why do we separate? Why do we have this tendency of like, let me just work on this. Like if it's, a, you know, if, if, it's, if it's a separation, you can't separate the mind from the emotions. You can't. You can't separate the mind from the body. I'm sorry, but the mind is completely attached to the body through the nervous system. You know, your brain doesn't end here. 
your brain goes all the way down into your spine, all the way down to the tailbone. And from the tailbone, it extends it all the way to the tip of the toes. There's no separation between your brain and the tip of the toes. Look at a nervous system. It's a web. But why do we think we separate? Let me just work on my brain and polish it and work it out. And what about the rest of the brain? <laughs> you know? So that's what we do, guys. And that's why it's so important to work on your core and connect with your core. Connect with that power of your core. I'm not only talking physically. Your core, again, is what are your gifts? Have you written your inner gifts inside of you? If I would tell you, do a list of 10 gifts that you have, 10 gifts that you're here, 10 qualities that you have. Can you write them? I'll, I'll leave you that homework. I call it soul work, not homework, soul work, because it's, yeah, it's working with the soul. It's like going deep and like getting to know yourself and accept your gifts. Are you love? Do you, do you, do you lo are you a loving person? Are you a person that you love helping? Are you someone that it's easy to focus? Are you very structured and organized? Are you super intuitive and super in flow? I don't know. What are your qualities? Own them. Write them down. That is your core. Nurture that more and more. It's time to nurture that more and more every day. Even if you're not feeling it every day. Go over those qualities. I used to write them down on a piece of paper and wake up and it's like, whoa, okay, that's me. Okay, yes, that's, that's part of who I am. It's not that that's only me, but that's part of who I am. You gotta remember, you gotta remind yourself because we get lost in the vortex of the world, society. What that one is doing, what that one is thinking, what are they saying of me? What are they gonna think? What are they gonna say? Oh my God, you don't get tired of that? Come on. <laughs> So yeah, guys, step number three, you go to the core. You own your gifts. You wake them up. You nurture them every day. It's like a seed. You need to nurture it every day. What's your passion? What do you love to do? Not because of money, not because of someone told you, not because you're good at it. What do you love to do? Are you doing it? Do it every day. Trust me. You'll see something will wire in your nervous system. You're going to be creating a neural circuitry in your body that allows for more greatness, for more love, for more magnificence, for more power, for more energy, for more focus. All the qualities of the soul are waiting for you, but you got to step up to do that. Yeah? You got to step up, guys. So that's step number three. Step number four is radiancy. You are here to share with the world radiate do you connect with that are you aware of there's always radiating energy out of you there's photos that they can take and there's always going to be energy the energy can be minimum just barely barely away from your body or it can be huge you can be like a star yes nasario you can add the gifts that you want of course you can manifest whatever you want you got to do the work you want to create the neural circuitry for that but i think you're fully into quantum flow that's what you're doing with quantum flow you're expanding your capacity to manifest you're expanding your capacity to to expand your capacity your capacity to receive okay and that's what radiance is it's your capacity to receive the more you radiate outside of you the more charisma you have right? The more radiancy you have, the more you're going to manifest, the more you're going to attract. You are a magnet, guys. We forget this. We are living magnets. <laughs> How amazing is that? We forget we are living magnets. We think we matter. We kind of think we're like, we're a piece of meat, a piece of meat with bones and flesh. <laughs> yeah, we're that too. Let's love that too. But we're not only that. This is just this of who you are. You are a soul. You are light. You are energy. Do you remember that? You got to remind each other every day. I am a soul living a human experience. And when I connect with the soul and I am committed to remember that I am soul, that I am energy, that I'm not just matter. I am energy and I'm cultivating that energy constantly, constantly remembering, breathing in my heart, expanding, breathing in my heart, light up that fire, expanding. Do it right now. Inhale into your heart and expand it. Ah, 
You don't even have to use the, heart, the hands. It can just be breathing through your heart, visualize it, feel it, know that it's going there, and then just expand it all around you. Breathe it, expand that, the heart. That, that's what I call the inner glow. And then the outer glow. Let it, let it glow all around you. Just do that for a couple of minutes and you'll feel the difference. That is the radiancy. You're cultivating that radiancy. The more you're aware of that, the more you will attract. So when you're in radiancy, how do you walk? How do you move? How do you breathe? How do you flow? That's the fifth stage, the flow. Okay? So the flow, it's really how am I putting this into action in my life? That's the flow. Okay? I'm in flow. It's like I'm in alignment in my life with what I think, what I feel, what my goal is, what my intention is, and my acts. Everything is in flow. That's step number five. I live in synchronicity. Synchronicity. Because the more I am aligned with the flow, the more my life flows. And how, Guys, let me know. Like, who's with me? You know what being in flow is. You've all felt it at some point. You're like, oh my God, it's just flowing. It just feels amazing. That person just showed up. That money just showed up. I'm feeling so good. Oh my God, I just had that idea. Oh my God, uh, the food that I love, the most beautiful place that I have. Oh, I can just, whatever the reason is, but you feel it's like it's flowing, right? Because it can be one or two, or it's flowing or it's not flowing. Or it's in abundance or it's in scarcity. It can't be both at the same time, right? So what do you choose? <laughs> I choose flow, <laughs> right? Write down, guys. I choose flow. I am flow. I am flow. It's a choice. It's a choice, right? And we can always have more flow for sure. Always. So that's step number five. Are you in flow? Are you listening? We, we talk about this. You listen. Yeah, you listen to your inner voice. You start connect. The more you release, the more you can listen to your inner voice. People are like, how can I listen to myself? Well, you got to let go. You got to let go of all the programs, of all the beliefs, of everything that you've been acting from those beliefs in your life. So you're creating the same results. That's why alchemy comes first. You first release them. You do the work, right? And then it's like, okay, now I'm ready. Now I can listen to what's real, to my highest truth, not to my ego. Not to my little me, not to the I'm not good enough, not to all the stories that I'm carrying in the memories of the past, the memories of the nervous system, right? Not that anymore. I'm not nurturing that. I'm actually shifting my nervous system, opening it up, releasing it with all the detox and everything. That's why we do it. We release the memories from the nervous system in order to listen to the deepest truth because the universe is always talking to you. Always. If you're available or not, that's your, that's your responsibility. But you're always going to have an energy guiding you, telling you, hey, not now. Hey, call this person. Hey, read this book. Hey, don't eat that food. That can be too heavy right now. Fill it out. What do you want to do? Hmm, better fast right now. Hey, go to nature. Hey, call that person. Hey, do that training. Hey, no, that's too much right now. Don't buy with that credit card. That's too much. It's a gut feeling. It's not a voice that you hear, guys. Don't wait for the voice. Some people hear the voice, but it's not necessarily a voice. It's a gut feeling. It's your second brain is the gut. And that's why I go back to detox. When you detox your gut and you rewire your gut, it's easier to feel that inner gut feeling. Like it's a complete yes or it's a complete no. You get to see that and you're not wondering, is it good for me or no? Let me ask my friend. Let me ask my mother. Let me ask my father. Let me write pros and let me write cons and see who wins, you know? That's not acting from the soul. That's acting from the mind, from the duality of the mind. It's very different, right? But when you're in flow, you're acting from the soul and that's why you're in flow. The, the soul is always in flow. The, the part that's not in flow is the ego, is the personality that's the low vibration personality, is the negative ego or the low vibration ego. Because ego is not bad. 
There's just a low vibration ego and a high vibration ego. Low vibration ego is the one that takes you to labyrinths and it kind of takes you into like all these like kind of crazy paths that is just time and energy and money lost, right? And your soul is like, <laughs> right in, right in the heart. <laughs> Let me know you're with me, guys. Let me know you're with me. Woo. Oh my God, it's been a lot of information. Hey, how you guys feeling? Uh, you know, when I, I put it on, it just goes. <laughs> this is quantum flow. This is quantum flow. And by the way, uh, if, you, if you're called by knowing more about this method and you're called to going deeper, we're actually right now starting an inner mastery training all about quantum flow. There's, there's still some spaces if you, if you guys want to join. We have the most amazing tribe, community, everybody supporting each other. We're going on this method super deep. And not only for yourself, but then you learn how to teach it. And you can do what I do if you want, travel the world. I travel 20 countries a year just sharing this. I share it online. Now that everything closed up, I've been sharing it online. I have tons of clients. I have lots of groups. I do lots of workshops online, offline. It's a great method to, to, to share with the world. So if you guys want to know more about quantum flow, I recommend maybe comment with quantum and I can share with you uh, information around this inner mastery training. It's very, very powerful. We go deep, guys. We're here just touching the surface, right? I know for you, for some of you, maybe this is a lot and you're like, what? What are you talking about, Wampa? This is all right enough. I'm going to re rewatch this live stream because I've had enough. <laughs> that means the, the, the next trainings are not for you. Don't worry. Just watch the, the replay again and, you know, go over it and, you know, like there's levels there, right? Like, but when you feel more committed, when you really want to change your life and you really want to step it up and you really want to own your gifts and share them with the world, that moment you feel it. You feel it in your gut and it's like, you know what? There's more for me. And that moment is when you reach out and like, hey, Wampa, what's that quantum flow you're talking about? I'm kind of ready to go to the next level in manifestation and kind of like, you know, kind of like bring it up, you know, <laughs> so, comment with quantum if you're interested. We're just beginning so you can still join us. And, and yeah, I'm very, very grateful. This is the group I was telling you about that I shared from my heart. I, I share a lot from my heart. People get to know me 100 percent for who I am here too, you know, but I go deeper there because, you know, we go deeper. It's a beautiful community. It's a beautiful tribe and we just go so deep together. So if you want to be part of that, you want to join us and be together for like almost eight weeks, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty deep, and beautiful and celebrate life. And we actually have a live stream very soon. Actually, let me see. I think I'm actually passing on time because it's minutes I got to be live again <laughs> with this guy. So just get lost in time and space. Okay, guys. So let me finish. Let's finish this. After you go into your flow and you know what flow is, we all agreed, right? We all agreed what flow is. Hmm? What happens is like, oh, now, now that I'm in flow, now that I'm listening, now that my life is aligned, right? And you, and you start recording that. You got to remember that because we forget. How many times you have the best time ever, the best day ever, and then next day you're like, I don't know why. I, I, I woke up kind of disconnected and kind of woke up with the wrong food and I kind of like, oh, uh, I'm having the worst time in every way. Like it's been the worst day ever, but yesterday was the best day ever. Why? Because we forget. Your unconscious mind, especially when you have a peak, you take it high and then there's a tendency to balance. So you're going to tend to go down, right? And then up and then down and then up until you're like, I'm done. I'm done with this roller coaster and you shift it, right? So you take it up, right? It's okay. You take it up. First, you learn how to take it up in a slower way, in a more flowy way. And you learn how to keep it. Right? It's something you got to teach your body how to do that. Your mind, your brain, you got to teach your brain again. Your emotions, you got to teach them. You are the master of the temple. They're not the master. Your emotions are not here to rule you. Who said that? No, you are the master. The soul is the master. Your body is not to rule you. I need this. I need that. Now I need sugar. Now, why have you let the body rule? Why? Where's the master of the house? Where did it go? <laughs> hey, come back. <laughs> your mind, why is your mind ruling you? You're not your mind. All these thoughts coming, I'm going to I'm going crazy in my mind. 
Why am I going crazy? Because I'm listening to my mind and I think I am the mind. Because society, the educational system has taught us that we are the mind. We're not the mind. We're a soul that has a mind. There's a mind, there's a brain, there's a computer that we can actually use. It's an amazing computer. Let's actually refine it like a crystal so it has the best thoughts ever. But you're not the mind. We have emotions, which are the vehicle of manifestation. They are the energy. Energy in motion. Emotion. And we have the body, the vehicle where everything connects, right? But we're not even the body neither, right? So we are a soul, and that is the mastery. In that place of mastery, you learn to integrate. You keep remembering who you are. You keep remembering why you're here. You keep remembering what is your purpose. You keep remembering what are you committed to, what are your goals, what are you manifesting, and you keep taking it in. We call it, in quantum flow, we call it the process of integration. That's the sixth stage, integration, okay? You learn to integrate. I'll give you an example. You're wanting to manifest something, and this happens a lot in quantum flow, right? We, wanna, we manifest. We, all of a sudden, you're opening up to manifesting a lot, right? And you, you achieve a goal, and you achieve another, you achieve another. All of a sudden, you become addicted to achieving, and you're like, wait, wait, wait. It's not just about the achievement. It's like, I'm achieving that, but after you get to that place, you got to enjoy that place. You got to give, give thanks, you got to stop and say, whoa, instead of thinking now what comes next and you kind of don't even enjoy what you manifested, you actually stop and you're like, let me integrate. Let me take this in. Let me give thanks. And the more you connect with that gratitude, the more you connect with that vibration, that's gratitude, the easier it is then to go to the next level of manifestation. You start building it up and you start building your capacity to be in gratitude. Sometimes I enter a place of gratitude where my heart is literally exploding. I have tears coming out because of bliss, because of gratitude, not because of, 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 of sadness. But I've cultivated that. It's a state of gratitude. Sometimes just because I'm looking at my partner, I'm just crying with gratitude of the partner, of my son, of my dogs, of a plant, that, uh, you know, a, a kale that's coming up. And I saw it growing from, from one day to the other so fast. And I'm just tears coming out. What can I tell you? <laughs> Some will call me a crybaby. <laughs> I'm just a very sensitive being. And I've cultivated myself so much. I'm not scared of being vulnerable. Because the vulnerability has opened me up to my full manifestation. Thanks to my vulnerability, I'm not scared to suffering anymore because I can shift it. So I'm fully vulnerable, but that helped me cry with a sunset. Cry with a sunset of bliss. I have built that in my nervous system. I have trained myself to be in the highest place of gratitude I can be. And when, when I'm there, it starts to happen naturally. You gotta train yourself. You gotta stop in your life. You gotta stop. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. And say, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do that. Do that every hour, every 30 minutes, every 10 minutes, once a day, whatever works for you. Do that. Train yourself to always be grateful for whatever reason. Because I have water. Just water. How many people don't have water right now? Come on, guys. Salute. <laughs> Grateful because I can breathe. Uh, wait. Grateful because I can talk. Grateful because I can see. Grateful because I feel. Because I think. I don't know. Find the most mundane human things that you can find. It doesn't matter. Find an excuse. <laughs> That's real. And be grateful. And then after that, be grateful. Once you've, you've let yourself know that it's true that you can be grateful because it's real things. You first have to do it with real things. You get me? It's a trick for the mind. I'm giving you little tricks, right? So it's a trick for the mind. Once you got the trick for the mind and, you, and you're kind of like, oh, it's right. Yeah, I do have a shelter. Yeah, I do have water. Like there's some people that don't have water. It's true, I'm breathing. I can walk. Yeah, that's true. Oh, whoa, it's true. There's so many people that can't walk right now. Oh, you know... It's kind of like you train yourself to see all the things that you are or that you have that maybe you, maybe you, they, there could be the possibility that they were not there, right? 
Then you start going to the gratitude of the soul. It's the gratitude of who you are no matter what. The gratitude of, of being. Being who you are. Being who you are. It's not even related to the external world. It's just who you are. And that's like the deepest gratitude. That's another layer. And then from that gratitude, you're like, from that gratitude, you connect to the gratitude of manifestation. Oh, I'm manifesting the love of my dreams. Yes, I can feel her. I can see her. I can breathe her. Mm, oh, oh, oh. And you start tapping into it as if the person was there. To give you an example. And you send a message to your body, to your brain, to the universe that that's already happening. And then the magic of manifestation starts being accelerated because you're tapping into the quantum field of manifestation. You're tapping into beyond the 3D of what's going on right now. That happens with gratitude. So I invite you to train yourself to be more in gratitude. Yes. Step number Six, integration is full gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what I've manifested, for who I am, for what I have, for my moment right now, even for this great learning that is an obstacle, but I know it's bringing me so many teachings right now. Thank you. Show me why this is happening to me. How did I attract this? Thank you. I want to learn. I want to evolve. I am open and receptive. You start building this way. You start training yourself to respond instead of react. No more reaction. No more drama. No more victim. No more. You let go of that and you start living more in the vibration of gratitude. In the vibration of God. In the vibration of energy. In the vibration of universal pulsation. Right? And that's when you go to step number seven. Which is divine truth. We call it divine truth because there's many truths. Here you're tapping into divine truth, the truth of God, the truth of the universe. If God is a uh, kind of tricky word for you because it wakes up stuff in you that's religious or whatever, you can release that word. Just call it universe or unified field or love or whatever you want to call it. Tap into that. It's the deepest truth, the truth of your soul, the truth of who you are. That part that's unstainable, that's unmovable, that's untouchable. Yes, that is, okay, divine truth. You tap into divine truth. And from that place, I am. I am. I know I am. I am complete. I am whole. I am available. I am open. I'm receptive. Those are the seven stages of manifestation. Yeah, and you see how important it is to release because you can't achieve the other stages if you don't release you got to let go of. So step number one, you ground. Get raw and real. Step number two is alchemy. Let go. Step number three is um, encorement. Connect with the core. Step number four is radiancy. Step number five is flow. Step number six is integration. Step number seven is divine truth. Boom. Okay, and that you got the whole system right there. Now you know about it. You can write about it if you want. You're good. Okay, you're good. You're ready to go. If you want to go deeper in this, maybe this information is enough for you. Go play with it. Go watch the replay. There's a lot in here, right? If you want to go deeper, um, you can comment below with detox and we're going to have a detox and actually I have another gift for you. If you come in detox, we're not only going to give you the program of detox and, and all the information on how to enroll in that program for 30 days together in a very easy, easy, easy way. It's amazing. But you're also going to be part of a webinar. I'm doing a free webinar all related to letting go and releasing free webinar. One hour to one hour and a half with me going super deep. So if you come in with the word detox, we will share with you the, um, the link to the webinar, the free webinar I will be giving. And we'll also share with you the course, the deep detox alchemy course, which actually it's called Regenerate, Rejuvenate and uh, Restore Every Cell of Your Being. 
every part, every area of your life. Like it's a really deep one. So if you guys want to go deeper, comment below with detox. We have free stuff for you. We have a course coming through you too. You know, I'm, I'm all about sharing and I'm all here to go deeper with whoever wants to go deeper. That's what I love to do also. And we have the inner mastery training happening right now. If you're interested in that, if you're interested in knowing more about the method of quantum flow and how we're helping millions of people and how we're living in full abundance just through this method, Yes, just through this method, if you want to tap into that, comment below with quantum and the team will get back to you with the quantum flow method. So you guys can go deep into it and, and you know, maybe you're called to it. Maybe you're called to live the best life ever using the body, the mind, the emotions, the energy, the breath. All right. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I hope this has helped you in your own uh, beautiful process wherever you're at. I send you all my energy, all my love. Thank you for being in this vortex. Thank you for knowing there's so much more for us. There's so much more always. Not from a place of scarcity, from a place of abundance. We're here to shine. Yes. So thank you for that, guys. Thank you for stepping up and owning your value owning your inner kingdom, your inner kingdom, owning who you really are, what you deserve in this life. Thank you. Enough of playing small. Enough of uh, the little me. Enough. Letting yourself shine and open up to your full potential. Thank you for that. Please share this with your family. Share this knowledge with your people. Share this live stream if you can. Tag people here. Please, let's move this energy. Let's share this with the world and create a better more evolved humanity together. We do this together. Familia, de mi corazón a tu corazón, un solo corazón, mucho amor, ci vediamo pronto, pura vida.